I went and applied for a job. Of course, they required a drug screen, so I went in for the drug screening, and um, immediately right then, the urine sample came back with a result of benzodiazepine. In 2021, all the life events, divorce, death of my father, all the things, loss of job, had happened, and a friend of mine introduced me to a book of Dr. Joe's, um, Becoming Supernatural. So I read that, devoured it, and just took it all in and began using some of his meditations. Um, then I moved on to the, the book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, and I couldn't leave that book. I just kept highlighting, circling words, going back to it, doing the meditations. And in 20, the summer of 2023, I went and applied for a job. Um, of course, they required a drug screen, so I went in for the drug screening. And um, immediately right then, the urine sample came back with a result of benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine was in the same box with meth and cocaine and all these other drugs that it was just, it was freaked me out because I was like, why is that in my system? There was nothing, no supplements that I take um, and no reason for that to be in my system. So I didn't p connect the two or put the two together because I'm new to the work. I've just been meditating, doing the morning meditation and the um, blessing of the energy center. So it'd just be maybe 30 minute here, 15 minute here. I'd push through to a 45 minute, you know, um, but I didn't connect it. And I couldn't understand why that showed up on my test results. So seven to 10 business days later, they come back to me and they say, you're hired. It was, it's not synthetic. It just was trace amounts of that in your system. I still didn't understand why it was there. Like, yay, I have the job, but why was that in my drug screen? And then I'll just say maybe a month from that time, um, I was listening to a podcast and Dr. Joe was being interviewed. I can't remember who the host was or what the question was, but his answer to the question that was asked of him was, um, our bodies will create our own benzodiazepine. There's a latent gland in the brain called the pineal gland that's a transducer. And a transducer is like a radio receiver. And every time we look at the scans of people who are connected, that part of the brain is on fire in their brain. That radio receiver is switched on and it's transducing frequency into very profound imagery in their brain. And there's, a, there's an upgrade that takes place in melatonin. But now the person's connecting to information and it's not coming from their environment. It's a frequency that's faster than the speed of light. It's quantum, things are connected there. <laughs> and when that person experiences that, that frequency, that connection, the pineal gland begins to manufacture chemicals that are derivatives of melatonin. Melatonin can't be melatonin any longer. It's, it's interacting with a frequency that's different than light. Melatonin already causes you to relax. Now you are going to chill way out. It's going to turn into a benzodiazepine. You're going to make Valium, natural Valium in your brain. And Valium does what? Shuts the lights out in the amygdala. What's that? The survival center. No fear, no anxiety, no pain, no aggression, no anger, no frustration. I jumped up, paused the podcast, screenshot of the transcript, and just was like, that's it. That's why that showed up in my system is I'm doing it and I'm doing it right. And I'm a newbie.